So for this case study, let's imagine a 50-year-old postmenopausal woman and she is complaining of knee pain inferior to the patella, laterally and medially to the joint line. The pain is most problematic during the dishes when she remains standing for quite some time. Walking her dog is progressively harder as well. And at night, pain wakes her up several times. What can we do for her? Check out our online courses now. The link is in the video description. Hi, and welcome back to Fissure Tutors. For the sake of this video, the diagnosis is already made. The woman complains of Hoffa's fat pad syndrome. Let's see how we can manage this in the short term. While talking to her, she explains that she is working from home for a few months now, and after the first few weeks, her pain started. She tells you that she has recently had put on some weight, making her want to walk her dog more, but the pain just won't simply admit this. When inspecting the knee during standing, you notice she has a hyperextended or has her knees locked back. There is some visible swelling on her painful side inferior to the patella. Our initial management is to get the pain under control. Hoffa's fat pad disorders are mostly of inflammatory nature, so reducing this should be a priority. We can do this by recommending to ice her knee for about three minutes before bed. Hopefully this will reduce her complaints at night and even during the day after a few sessions. Note that massaging with an ice cube will probably work better than a cold pack. Make sure to rub some oil on the knee to prevent ice burns. The patient can repeat this every day and possibly multiple times a day if her schedule allows. We can accompany the icing with some taping. Icing, while the tape is applied, could loosen the tape so it would be easier to teach the patient how to tape her knee herself. This way, icing can be done in the evening and the tape can be applied afterward or during the morning. The general idea behind the tape is to offload the fat pad by creating more space. Do note that the mechanism is not well understood and there could very well be a different explanation. The tape might help in the short term and when the inflammatory state is cooled down, we can tell the patient to try a few days without. If the patient needs to cope with prolonged standing or walking, taping for those activities uh, would still be advised. We could suggest wearing shoes inside with a heel to toe drop. The heel will make sure that hyperextension is not reached that often during gait or standing. A piece of tape in the popliteal fossa can help the patient as well to notice when she is standing with her knees locked. The tape will stretch an extension if applied in flexion. When the knee stays neutral naturally, we can of course leave the tape out of the treatment plan. It's important for the patient to understand that postures or movements in the first 30 degrees of knee flexion put more stress on the fat pad. We could discuss breaking up long periods of standing, sitting with outstretched legs, etc. Really try to understand what a typical day for this patient looks like so we can help where necessary. When talking to her, she tells that she has a four-year-old nephew that she picks up from school twice a week and plays a lot on the floor with at home. You might want to tell her that to temporarily avoid sitting on her knees to minimize the compression on the fat pad. With these techniques, there should be a noticeable difference after a few days. Let's throw in an exercise for her knee control. We want her to be able to control her knee in neutral, so putting her up next to a mirror to check whether she is standing straight or hyperextended could be an idea. Another option is having her push into a band and trying not to overshoot. If all is well, she will eventually learn how to control her knees in extension. That's it for this video on managing Hoffa's fat pad syndrome in the short term. If you want to know how to diagnose and treat Hoffa's fat pad complaints and patellofemoral pain, make sure to check out our course with Claire Robertson. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to get notified of more case studies. I'm Max for Physio Tutors and I will see you in another video. Bye.